What's up, YouTube? Tristan here with Team Radic Yu-Gi-Oh! We're coming at you with Game 3. So I open up with Lullaby of Obedience. Uh, this card's amazing in the mirror match. Um, so I believe I call Terra Top... No, I call Rap here here. Yeah, I definitely call Rap here. So you guys Rap here to me in my hand. And then I'm going to normal summon that Rap here. And activate its effect to send. So I send a Whip Tail. I don't play Zodiac Combo in my deck. Um, I just, it was kind of a bricky card, so I didn't like it. So overlaying to Borbo, and he drops the Maxi. So this was really sad because I had the full original Zodiac Combo that I could do. Uh, going to Dryden, so I give him one, and then I Void Vanishment to search my uh, Void Feast. Ditching Fairytale Snow. Uh, ditching Fairytale Snow is really good just because you can use it later. And then he, uh, I set one and pass turn. So standby phase, of course, I go Void Feast, getting out all my wonderful Infernoids. So you're subject to Decatrons, of course. With your Decatrons, you send a Deviati and a Nunku. Um, I switched to like that. I like doing it like this, having my Deviati and uh, Decatron next to my Dryden, just so I know that's like a monster and a monster pop, and then Nunku's to the side. So he uh, normal summon, or I believe he special summons to the Terra Top. Uh, uses no effect. Um, and then he's gonna go. So he he was trying to play around my Decatron's really good. We'll see what he does in a second. So then he normal summons a Terra Top, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Because now he's gonna be able to at least destroy one of my Decatron's. So he well he actually he goes for the Dryden, so I pop it, and then he attacks my Dryden. I thought he was gonna go after my Decatron's, but he ends up going for the Dryden, which is probably the better play. So now he's thinking, uh, we're going to main phase two, obviously. He uh, summons a Atondel and sets one in pass. So my I activate Lunalite Black Sheep to search my fusion substitute. But uh, my field's pretty clogged right now. Obviously, I'm way over the levels, so I can't really summon anything. So then I'm just looking at my grave, thinking of what I can do. I can't really do much. So then I go into battle phase uh, uh, with the Sajet and I activate effect to banish from the extra deck and uh, destroy on the terror top and stuff. And then I go to, for Fairytale Snow, I guess. Oh, and then he Psalm strikes it. Oh, because he, he used the Tondel's effect. So he, um, he tributed off the terror top. And then... He thought I just sensed his grave, but it banishes, so he chooses Totem Bird instead. So my Fairytale Snow is gone. My graveyard's pretty depleted, but I still have a monster and a spawn gate and a Deity Crow, which is pretty good. Um, and then Eric goes on his phone for like 2.2 seconds, so sorry about that. But uh, it's looking pretty good for me right now just because I have the attack. But he does have an Atondel, um, so you can attack both of them, which is pretty freaking gross. But I use my Sajet effect just to tribute off that Decatron to DD Crow, his rap here. So he only has one rap here, and my whole field is now clear. So then he goes for a Whip Tail, uh, does, goes into Tiger Mortar, and then Broad Bull, Broad Bull Search. Probably searching for the Thorough Blade or another Whip Tail. He searches for Whip Tail. And there's uh, Eddie throwing up the circle. So now you gotta get hit by us. And then I believe he passed his turn right there. Goes and dried it, has whip tail in hand, and that's about it. So now he's in a pretty good position. But fortunately, I do have a full graveyard. He uses a Tondel's effect on my turn now, uh, banishing off my Anunku. But fortunately for me, I did have a Anunku in hand. So you're about to see that real quick. So I banish three, four Anunku and blow up his field. Oh, it looks like we did kind of misplay right there. We put both Anunkus into my grave. So, Eric, if you're watching this, I am sorry. But you did put it back into my grave. So I summoned Deviati and then anti-spell standby phase. Uh, wasn't too worried about that. He goes right into Petrulia. Um, I just let that go. There's no point of negating that. And then... Let's see what happens. Oh, Eric accidentally does that, but I'm like, wait. And he's like, oh, no, I got the whip tail in hand, my bad. 
So it goes Webtail, overlays now for the Broad Bull, and I negate the Broad Bull. So the Broad Bull's banished, and now it's my turn, and I set to and pass. He sets. So now it's just a setting war. So I normally summon Fairytale Snow. He's at like 1,700 life points now, so it's it's getting down there. So he dark holes me, which is fine. And then now it's my turn. I'm counting my grave, see how many cards I have, set another. He sets. What do I activate? I don't even see what that is. I think it's another anti-spell. Um, he sets another card. I draw. I believe I draw something. Yep, Trulia. And that's game right there. So 